All right, so we have a slightly different problem this time. We have a projectile. It's launched horizontally, so this is a dart. And as it flies through the air, it falls. And what we know in this case is that it goes horizontally a distance of six meters before it hits the wall. And we know that it falls five centimeters. And we're trying to figure out how fast was the dart going initially. So in this case, the horizontal distance is six meters. So I'm gonna call this point right here where it starts. I'm gonna call this point my origin. So there's my y-axis and here's my x-axis. So for this problem, delta x, the distance it goes horizontally, is 6.0 meters. And the distance it goes vertically, it says the dart falls 5 centimeters during the time it was a projectile. So it falls 5 centimeters. So delta y is negative 0 0.05 meters. Now, a couple other things we can figure out from this. It is fired horizontally, and that tells us the velocity in the y direction is zero initially. We don't know how fast it'll be going downwards when it gets to here, but we know it started moving horizontally. The other thing we know is the acceleration in the x direction, of course, is zero meters per second squared, and the acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.81 meters per second squared. And that's about all we know. So in this problem, um, we are going to have to solve it a slightly different way than the last problem. The first step we're going to do is figure out how long it's in the air, because we know how far it fell uh, while it was in the air. Let's figure out that time. So we are going to solve the problem um, delta y, the distance it falls, equals the velocity in the y direction initial times the time, plus one half the acceleration in the y direction times the time squared. We're going to try to figure out the time it's in the air from this problem. Okay? So since the velocity in the y direction is zero, we can ignore that part. And just like before, we get delta y equals one half acceleration of y times time squared. And so I can solve that for the time. The time t is going to equal um, negative 2 times the acceleration in the y direction. To, excuse me. It's going to be negative 2 times the distance it goes, delta y, divided by the acceleration in the y direction times the square root. So when I plug in all those numbers, I get a time of about 0 0.1 zero one seconds. So it doesn't take very long to uh, travel from the beginning here to the end. So now we know the time. So now our second step is going to be to solve the x problem. So we are going to solve the x problem which is delta x, the distance it goes horizontally, is equal to the velocity in the x direction initial times the time plus one half the acceleration of the x times the time squared. And we're going to solve that for um, the velocity in the x direction initial. And again, because the acceleration in the x direction is zero, all of that goes away. So delta x equals the velocity in the x direction initial times the time. We're trying to get the velocity initial in the x direction. So the velocity in the x direction initial is going to equal delta x, the distance it goes, divided by the time. Delta x, of course, is 6.0 meters. That's how far it goes. And the time is 0 0.101 seconds. And so our velocity in the x direction initial, how fast the dart is going at the beginning of the problem, we can figure out by just taking 6 divided by our time, which is 0 0.010. And that gives us about a 59 meters per second as the initial velocity. And just for comparison, we can figure out that that is about um, 130 miles an hour. So that's a pretty fast moving dart. So there you go. We can solve the exact same kind of problem. The important things to remember here are that if it's fired horizontally, the velocity in the y direction initial is zero. Um, and then remember, if it falls, 
if you know the distance it falls, that's delta y, and it's going to be negative. And of course, the acceleration in the y direction is always negative 9.81, and the acceleration in the x direction is always zero.